What's going on everybody? I'm Oprius and welcome to a brand new video about Bitcoin, cryptocurrency, electronium, and all that good stuff. Uh, taking a look real quick at the coin market cap, we are seeing some nice recovery. We're seeing some nice rises in the coins and it looks like we're on a green day. Uh, we're back over the 400 billion market cap for all the coins in total here on coin market cap. Looks like we've had five cryptocurrencies added. Uh, 19 billion in daily trade volume and Bitcoin dominance at 34.5%. Looking here at the the chart we did a video yesterday and Bitcoin was down around 8,000 and we're up to 3.74 percent higher than what we were yesterday kind of what I was seeing and kind of what I was hoping oh ripple jumped up 18 uh, percent 91 cents about to clear a dollar again so that's good uh, this is a great time to take a little bit of profits if you were buying down on the red and the bloodbaths and if you want to take some profits now is good or you can just hold what I want to talk about today is I've done this on my video on my channel quite some time ago before I really had the healthy amount of subscribers. Um, <clears throat> as many people know, I am a hobby miner. I don't have any big fancy rigs. Uh, I do have a nice small rig that uh, I learn and teach myself how to mine other altcoins and cryptocurrencies and writing scripts and bat files and I go from there. But what really got me into mining besides Digibyte back in the day was NiceHash. And we're going to pull that up and I'm actually going to do a video on how to get started on NiceHash today. Um, I really like the NiceHash platform because it's kind of a set it and forget it uh, platform and, and it comes to Bitcoin mining. And I'll put that in quotation marks. I'll explain more here in a minute. Um, so if you have a fancy uh, gaming computer that's sitting around that you want to make a couple of bucks on um, that is, this is an opportunity for you if you have a couple of GPUs that you've slapped together and made yourself a nice cheap little mining rig just like myself this is a good platform for you uh, we're gonna go over a little bit of the basics and we're gonna go over a little bit of the site we're gonna look at some of the profitability calculators and then we're gonna actually log into my miner and I'm gonna show you the everything chugging along so Short and simple version of nice hash mining is if you have hash power, if you have GPUs, you don't technically mine Bitcoin. Okay, so even though it says mining Bitcoin, you're not technically mining Bitcoin. What you're actually doing is people are buying bit, they're buying alt currency, cryptocurrency, uh, Bitcoin, Zcash, Ethereum, and a bunch of other, like, you know, other scripts, other bat files. They're buying hash power and they're not necessarily people that are mining coin on their own with their own machines. They don't want to pay the power. So they go onto websites like NiceHash, uh, also the cloud mining contracts and everything, you know, with Genesis Mining and Hashflare and stuff like that. But if they want to mine, let's say, let's say Monero or let's say Litecoin, um, let's say Ethereum. Let's just go with Ethereum. So if they want to mine Ethereum, then what they can do is they can actually purchase 24 to 48 hour or a minimum of 24 hour contracts from NiceHash. So what then happens in turn is that people like myself, we put our rigs and we put our mining computers onto the platform and that allows NiceHash to then mine from our system the coin that people purchase and want mining power for. And what we end up doing is we don't technically, we don't get these coins we get paid in Bitcoin for selling our hash power. So we can take a quick look at the learning side of things. I don't do any of this. Um, contracts start at a minimum of 0 0.005 BTC, and they range from like 24 hours and so on and so forth. Uh, and they start instantaneously. Here's some prices you could see here. Um, for Bitcoin, you can actually put uh, pentahashes starting at $42. Um, well, not pentahashes, but that's about 600 gigahashes starting at 4230 um, ethereum you can get five you know point five seven giga hashes for 24 hours starting at 4230 so it kind of seems like that and then for zcash you can mine that as well they have other coins that you can uh, target the miners that you're renting at located here so there's plenty of options like vert coin helen coin dash fuel coin star coin leo coin talk coin bit shares digibyte uh, emmer coin all on these contracts sha 256 sha um or script X11, X13, so on and so forth. The only ones I really don't see is like Kryptonite, which is like Electronium and stuff like that. So people go through and they say, this is how much hashing power that they want to purchase. So they said how much they want to purchase for the 24 hour period, so on and so forth. It's just like Genesis Mining and Hashflare. So then on the flip side of that, instead of actually being a, having a warehouse filled with these miners and these uh, rigs and these ASIC machines, they are actually advertising for people that own these pieces of equipment to sell their hashing power to nice hash to mine those contracts so then you can go here we're gonna learn more a little bit on the selling 
and you can select you know your CPU or GPU miner, an ASIC machine, or you have a rig farm, which is a bunch of like GPU machines thrown together. Um, so I kind of have it. I have a GPU machine, but it's like a rig kind of sort of. Um, trusted service, yada blah blah. Regular income payments from once per day. Earn Bitcoin for every share. Payouts from 0 0.001 BTC. Now, even though it says payments from once per day, um, these two go in hand in hand because there's when I show you the miner, there's two ways to be paid out. So remember these numbers here, and I will refer that when I pull up my miner, okay? Um, and then you can start and stop whenever you want. You can connect to an unlimited, you can connect as many as you want, um, and it's kind of fully anonymous. Now, I, I used NiceHash a lot, but back in, I think, towards December, beginning of December, they did receive, they were hacked, and a lot, I think 64 Bitcoin were taken out of the account. They did reimburse and they're paying everyone back I did get paid back for what I had left in my wallet so that's why I have complete trust in this company they were very active and proactive on these so very simple um, you would if you wanted to mine and you sell your hashing power then you would just go to the sell tab you would log in sign up blah 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 and then you would select the you have a CPU or GPU which we'll do that here and then it's going to take you to download the actual miner you'll hit download it'll go into your download file you then install it after you install it um, you're going to pull up your miner and you're going to run a performance test and you're going to run, let's see if it pulls up on mine. If not, I can pull it up on my mining rig back here. Okay, so it's going to load after you have everything installed. This is going to take a while because I don't really do it on my laptop anymore. Um, it's probably going to tell me I need an update because I know it's up to 2.0.1.2. Uh, but I don't really mind. This is just for educational purposes. So then after you're going to have everything start up, you see mine's firing up. I have a GeForce 840M in my laptop, which isn't that great. So then you're going to, we're going to pull it start up here for a second. You're going to log in or register. I'm not a robot. Log in. I don't have two-factor authentication on right now. So next what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to, um, no, I have an unpaid, well, I have, this is my old balance, and then I have this right here. So you're going to want to copy your wallet address. Now, the reason why I say you want to copy this wallet address as opposed to using something like your Exodus wallet is because there is a minimum payout on the platform that is higher for external wallets versus a minimum payout for paying out to the nice hash wallet. So for example, if you were to set your wallet address, which I'm going to post here, my new one, if you were to set your wallet address to an Exodus miner, your minimum payout, which would be day, it would be daily if you had a strong enough machine, but you won't get paid out until you get 0 0.1 BTC mined in total from the nice hash miner. Now, if you have it selected to pay out to the nice hash wallet, then you would have a requirement of 0 0.001 before it gets paid out daily. So my personal mining rig takes about four days to get a payout, okay? If you have any questions about that, please let me know in the comments. But once again, if you set it to an Exodus wallet, it's gonna take 0 0.1 BTC mined to be a payout that might take longer for these smaller rigs. Or if you set it to your nice hash account, then it's gonna take 0 0.001 BTC to pay out the Bitcoin that you've earned from selling your hashing power. After you have all that set up, you have your wallet, you're going to want to go to hardware detail, and then you want to benchmark your machine. So mine has been benchmarked. Um, it's not great because it's a laptop, but you can see it's going to show all the scripts and how much you could potentially earn, and it's always, always, always going to mine on the most profitable script. After all that's benchmarked, it's very simple. You just hit start. You have your script file, and you can start seeing the numbers churning, churning and churning, um, and then it'll start saying a daily estimated payout here. And it's, this is going towards the wallet that I have on NiceHash, which my miner is also attached to this wallet. I'm going to go ahead and stop this now because we are obviously not going to be mining on this. And I'm going to close the platform because I want to keep going with this. Let's um, pull up one more thing before I... We're going to pull up the miner now. So this is my actual miner. I am remote PC into it. And you can see here that my daily estimated earnings is about $2.31. And that's because I have uh, two GTX 1050 Ti 4 gigabyte super clocked editions. And I have one GTX 750 Ti 2 gigabyte in the machine. So I have kind of a baby rig. And you can see here right now it's on Equihash for the GTX 750. And it's on Dagger Hash Moto Decrid uh, with 569 mega hashes and 23. So 
this is also dual mining here as well, and that's giving me the $2.30 a day. Now, I'm going to be getting a payout at about 5 o'clock in the morning because this number is going to meet the minimum threshold of 0.001 Bitcoin, and I believe it pays out every morning at 5 a.m. Eastern when you meet that minimum threshold. So this is pretty neat. It's a very simple set it and forget it kind of method to mining. You don't have to do any research. It does it for you. It's the easiest thing you could possibly do. Now there's some downfalls to it in, with it being that easy. Now, yes, technically you can make more profit. You have better profitability if you spend time researching other coins and how to mine them. Um, and how to do their bat file and what are the best pools. But on the flip side, you would then technically have to send those coins to a wallet and then you can send them to an exchange to cash it out for Bitcoin and then you're gonna be paying the transaction fees. Now there are transaction fees to cash out your Bitcoin wallet on NiceHash and it all kind of balances out. So if you, I guess the long-term plan, the better plan if you're interested in cryptocurrencies, like the individual coins that they might be able to go up. So for example, I was mining Electronium at you know six to twelve cents and I've been mining that and the numbers kind of averaged on a daily return of what I received but I was also hoping that Electronium now that I have about a thousand tokens is going to be worth you know one to two dollars in the future uh, Bitcoin which we also know is going to go up as well so it's kind of you know what you want to play around with and what you really believe in and what coins are very interested in one thing I really like about the platform is the profitability calculator so if you have let's say a GTX 10 70 ti you can go ahead and plug that in and we'll just say the electricity is you know 10 cents a kilowatt so then you can uh, calculate and you can go down to the income for one day one week one month it's going to do your electricity cost and then it's going to give you a grand total so one gtx 1070 ti mines just as much as my three gpus on its own so if i had three of those i'd be potentially making about six dollars and ninety cents a day just on that alone if i had three of those and then you can multiply that by six or three and that's how much you potentially make a month um, if you are an amd uh, fan you can do something like the amd rx 570 calculate that because that's a reasonably priced graphics card you're looking at about a dollar forty with electricity costs as profit daily so that's pretty neat you can play around with this um, let's see I think they also have like the uh, ant miners so yeah we can do Bitcoin a bitmain ant miner s9 let's go ahead and calculate what that could pull you daily so if you have a bitmain you know an ant miner s9 you're looking at about ten dollars a day three hundred and fourteen dollars a month so that's pretty cool that they have a profitability calculator so uh, if you guys are interested in um, getting to start you know, putting your PC to work or if you're building a mining rig or anything like that, uh, just to take the baby steps, I would recommend NiceHash. And I'll leave a link in the description below for you to jump on. Um, there's really not anything to the uh, an affiliate program if you sign up under my link. The only thing that they really do affiliate programs with is with people that purchase um, the mining power. Uh, but that's really nothing. Um, so I'm more interested in selling my hashing power and so that's what i do anyway guys thank you very much for watching my name is oprias please subscribe please leave a like or a comment or whatever you want and i'll see you guys next time